Okay, I come into the kitchen and I see something amazing. I don't wanna show you what Sam is working on until it's like done. Done. Gloriousness is finished. Ready? Wow. <laughs> Sam, that looks amazing. Good job. Thanks. I uh I had fun making it. We got this like meat and cheese and stuff from the market oh, last yeah. uh Last day. Yeah, and also this basil was from the market. And then some medallion onions and pickles and bread and whatever else. No. And then some different sauces. What are Apple sauces? cider vinegar, the balsamic vinegar. vinegar, olive oil, and balsamic glaze. That is fancy. Who wants to hire Sam for your next event? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Another pay up there. You explained it and I thought you were doing it separately still. Mm. Mm. Tell us how it is. Wee. 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 So good. They're like buttery and sweet. And something about it is just so good. Grace, what did you part. eat first? Salami. Salami? Do you want a pickle? Is he so good? Yeah. And a pickled onion? Oh, good. That's a good idea. Oh my gosh. Be back down to Gubio. I uh, needed to grocery shop a little bit and figure out our uh, Wi-Fi. Hasn't been working very good. And we came to play at that park again and we're by this amazing Roman uh, ruins, this theater or amphitheater thing. And I haven't seen it from this side. It's so cool. I love all of these ancient Roman ruins. It's really cool. I'm gonna show you from the other side. It's really pretty. Hi guys, is this cool? Oh, it's just so cool to think what this was used for with the Romans. Maybe it's not cool. They might have used it for bad things. Isn't that so cool? You can see the ruins right there and then the city of Gubbio right behind. I love it with the walls and everything. It's just amazing. It's like we're stepping back 2,000 years. Hi, cutie. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm going to go do a run this morning, but you can see it's pretty cloudy and rainy. It'll be a fun adventure. Well, that was a great run. You can see it got a little wet. I was soaking. It was raining pretty hard on me. I love getting out and exercising in the morning. And running for me is what brings me life. It always has. Ever since I started running with my dad, when I was, I guess, third grade, I started to fall in love with it. Whatever it is that brings you life through exercise, using our incredible bodies that are a gift from God to be invigorated, whether that's walking, riding a bike, yoga, whatever it is that moves your body, your mind in a healthy habit, in a healthy way, do it. I was pondering about how this rain is coming at a timely time. We've been here at this beautiful villa, this monastery. When you come to a place, it's so exciting and new and invigorating and everything's a new discovery. And it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about. Just watch our first videos and you'll see just this excitement in us. And then reality hits that you've got to still do routines. You still got to work and do school. And then all of a sudden the, the dishwasher doesn't work. And then you've got bugs and scorpions and other problems and then the internet's been terrible yesterday i woke up feeling like it's just downpouring on us with all these trials and challenges it just made me kind of feel down and i thought i can't be beat up by this we are so lucky of what we're doing and just remember to the excitement of this and i get to spend so much time with my family and I love the work that we're doing. I love producing these videos. I love the community and the people that are connected with us. I really do. And I have to kind of have this firmness of mind is what came to me of just you, you have to choose gratitude. 
and joy and happiness regardless of your circumstances. No matter what's happening around you, you've got to choose life and happiness. And so today, I'm so grateful I got out of bed. I really didn't want to. And I went uphill and it was hard, but I feel so alive this morning, as you can tell. If life is raining on you, if you're having trials and challenges, get up, live, awake, have good life. And it's all our choices and what we decide to do with it. We can go make a difference. We can do good. We can choose life. And that's what I'm choosing. Daddy and the boys and Lily are going to the temple this morning. Grace, Jojo, and me are having races. Your mark, you said go! Ah, yeah! Yeah! That was awesome to be in the temple here in Rome. It is such a beautiful temple and they capture just the, the Roman Italian style in a beautiful way. Stained glass windows, you can see those a little bit right here. And just the whole temple is amazing. Now that we're done with the temple and the visitor center, we're gonna go over to Ikea and eat some meatballs. Oh, we love our meatballs. How, how is it? I forgot how good I feel. <laughs> you love them? Is it? And then you just dip your, your, your thing in the gravy, then the mashed potatoes, then the cranberry sauce. You know how to do it? Mm. You've got this down to science. Mm. Okay, we just came to the store and they gave us an ice cream coin and a Cone. I like Kia. Oh, you want chocolate? Look at that. Like, I don't amazing. know, but it's beautiful. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. Mine's <laughs> nice and tall and thick and burly, beautiful. <laughs> what? I got that much ice cream. Oh, that's pretty good. What? <laughs> That worked out great. Ikea is just across the street from the temple. Look, that was delicious. That was fun. There's just eggs in here. These just tiny little eggs. They're so cute. What in the world are you doing? <laughs> Cutting my hair because tons of birds wearing them. She got a, a owie fall and birds were so stuck in his hair so we're just cutting his luscious locks. Look, there's two little rats right here. Look at it. 